Hey, what's going on YouTube? Currently walking down North Street on my way to update you guys on the construction progress on rebuilding Washington Avenue. So yeah, let's go check it out. Thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, share the video with a few people if you want, and let's go. Right. We're going to start out at the corner of North Street and Washington Avenue. And of course, they got the sign over here, all businesses remain open. Big digital sign showing you the same thing. And yeah, let's just take a walk down the avenue. Most of the sidewalks, as I lose my balance, most of the sidewalks have been ripped out on this block. And I don't think that's the case further down. So right now you're left with this little nub of a sidewalk to walk on. But yeah, this is crazy, man. The road is almost go completely gone. There's just a little space in the middle for people to drive on if they have to, although I don't think you want to drive down here. <clears throat> All the street lights have been taken out. You can see the foundation where one used to be there with some wiring sticking out, looks like. Currently, we're walking past uh, the former or actually, no, we're in front of Lover's Sushi right now. Personally, I prefer Acquaintance Sushi. Just kidding. Anyway, uh, great place if you've never been. Looks like there's some kind of new deli or mini mart over there. I don't think that was there last time we did an update. There's that new bizarre place. And yeah, check this out right here. They got, uh, this would have been where the curb was. Right here. And yeah, this is, uh, when they're done with this, man, I bet this is going to look amazing. You can see down the street there, they got a piece of uh, new drainage equipment. What's this over here? Is this a route? One really cool aspect of the road being closed is I can walk wherever I want without fear of getting run over. Yeah, it looks like it's a tree route. For those of you who don't remember or haven't been down here in a while, this street used to be lined with beautiful trees. And I believe they were cherry, cherry blossoms, so in the spring, they would get all lit up with uh, white leaves on them. Got original Italian over here. Quick shout out to Frank's Barbershop before I forget. Make sure you guys come downtown and still support the businesses that are in the work zone. You can park in the lots that are behind the buildings. There's tons of free parking and lots of space and entrances in the back to make your way out to the stores so not a big deal really that the road is closed although I'm sure it's impacting businesses brand new fire hydrant over there you got uh, right there they got the old one that says out of service and then it's right next door to the new one the new one has a ton of hookups it looks like that must be a lot better for firefighting what's down this thing Oh, that's going to be a new water cap there. It looks like they just have this on it to protect it from construction. So let's keep going. Got the M&T bank over here. And yeah, no sidewalks, no nothing. You're roughing it on Washington Avenue right now. Let's check these guys out. <clears throat> well, looks like it was made by Binghamton Precast, so good to see that they're sourcing this stuff locally. And you can see some stairs right there, so obviously this is going to connect to a bigger piece, or at least a piece above it. Maybe it's that one right over there. I don't know. <laughs> that one's already got some water floating in it. Just call it a, call it a test, really. But yeah, it's uh, progressed quite a bit since the last time we did this little walking tour here. I love the look of this building, this photo, photo nix or whatever you call it. Looks like it uh, has a very Miami vibe to it. I like it a lot. 
Africa House. I'm pretty sure that used to be a bookstore. Um, I don't. It definitely doesn't look like it's in business anymore. But I heard a lot of people talk about that back in the day. Another foundation of the old light posts. Look at these pipes sticking out of it. Those are solid, man. And this thing went deep. That's got to be a good, like, at least five or six feet, maybe. So those things definitely weren't going anywhere. Look how deep they've dug out. Like, you can see that's where the sidewalk used to be, and there's, like, a definitely a little bit of a hump going on in the middle there. Sorry if I uh, don't recall specific businesses or shout out your specific business. So now we're at the corner of, I think this is Monroe. I don't know, they took down all the street signs, so I don't know where I am anymore, but I'm, I'm guessing that's Monroe. So EPAC Theater right in front of us. And now this block isn't nearly as torn up as the block that approaches North Street, but they do have this hole going on right here, which I assume is where they ripped out a water line. So this, this block I'm sure will be getting the remove all the street lights treatment soon. North Brewery right across the street. Shout out to Zach. I wonder if Zach's working today. I'd go inside, but I'm running short on time. Downtown Quarterback, Faces Barbershop, Finders Keepers, right over there. Wow, this guy's gonna cause me to get a copyright strike. All right, gotta talk over that. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, moving on, Paradise Hair World, Triangles Billboard. And uh, this will probably be the end of the video here in a few minutes because we're running out of Washington Avenue to walk. So this uh, fun little factoid here, this parking lot right in front of us at one point was going to be like a three or four story modern building, like mixed use with retail on the bottom and apartments. And uh, I don't think it ever happened. It, it obviously never happened. So I wonder what the deal is with that project. You got the Avenue Collection right over here, former DMV and the DMV down there, moved across the street. So yeah, the project wasn't something from a long time ago either. It was like, I don't know, maybe two or three years ago that it was announced and then nothing happened. Animal Care Council. Let's see, are there any, any kitty cats in the window we can say hi to? Oh yeah, there's a couple right over here. <coughs> Look at this cute little guy. Hello. This guy's a little more shy, but he's cute too. I like his fur. <laughs> Here's another uh, street light with the wires sticking out of the ground. So yeah, this block a lot less interesting than the first one. But definitely a lot more progress going on here than there was. I think we did our last update about a month ago. And yeah, the, the one block is crazy, crazy progress. It's basically obliterated. And this block is just a cut where they put the water line in or out. So yeah, so far, moving very quickly here on the avenue. Hopefully they can get at least most of it done before, you know, like October, or November, when the weather starts to turn again. And uh, with that, I think we've reached Broad Street. <laughs> Somebody's hammering something down here. Or somebody's getting a new roof, it sounds like. And yeah, here we are at the church. And we've reached the end of Washington Avenue. You know what? Let's go, since I have to go this way anyway, let's go down Broad Street. And we'll just, I won't do a full update, but I'll just give you guys a quick peek at another Endicott project. The Advanced Auto Parts, or, uh, O'Reilly's Auto Parts store that's coming has been making a lot of progress down the street here. And we'll just take a quick look at it. 
during this brief transition here, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you're not. And of course, if you value the content, you think it's interesting, and you like seeing Endicott and other areas here in the Southern Tier, consider becoming a Patreon member, like so many already have. Highly appreciate you guys, by the way. Shout out to Patreon and YouTube members. But yeah, consider joining them down below. It's always appreciated. And man, is it hot out today. It's like, my car said it was 81 and my phone says it's 81, but it feels more like 90 with humidity. So yeah, we, uh, yeah, this is Broad Street. And here's a quick look at the construction site of the O'Reilly Auto Parts that's coming. I forget when they said this is gonna be finished, but right now they only have foundations in as far as I can see. And yeah, let me, I'll just stick the phone up here real quick. And yeah, there's not a whole lot to look at. Mostly just foundations right now. But they have graded out the lot considerably since the last video I did about it. And yeah, Broad Street School, uh, right across the street there. Or, I'm sorry, St. Ambrose. Former St. Ambrose School across the street. And uh, yeah, so anyway, there's your update, guys. Thanks a lot. Thumbs up, subs up. We'll see you in the next one.